Hi, everybody. Um, I wanted to take time in the first half of this course, it's now week four, to sort of introduce you to the logic of a shopping cart. We've sort of dived into the deep end of the pool by going in with open cart, but I want to take time to go through a, a, a very simple shopping cart. We're going to go through it pretty slowly uh, to give you the idea of how all these things work. So I'm inside the week four folder. You'll see some things that I haven't published yet, but um, what I want to do is download this simple cart. So if you could download this with me, it has everything you need. And I'll show you how to build it and how we can learn from it. Now this is for everybody, devs and designers alike. But it's going to reinforce how powerful the get method is for um, passing data from category pages to product pages. So I have this folder here, and I'm just going to copy and paste the folder into my applications. I'm going to use MAMP on this, and I'm going to paste it into Simple Cart. So what this has in it is the database structure. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in uh, Sublime. And you'll see it's, a, it's pretty much a two-table system. That's it. We have categories. And I've added some stuff for cat food and toys and toxic litter, just for fun. And I've got, uh, also, I've got uh, products. So two-table system. But notice that the product has a cat ID. The cat ID will be the number for each product. So I'm simply going to copy and paste this and throw it right into my database. So I'm local, so I'm going to go to localhost, database, PHP, my admin. I'll add a new database. I'd like to make it called uh, WebD173. And we can go ahead and click the SQL button and just paste what I've copied, which is the, the add table SQL. Uh, again, this, this assumes that you've taken WebD 153 or 166, either one. But now that I have this, when I go into my database, let's take a good look at this category structure. In fact, I can go into my design view, and you will see that there's products and categories. And that whatever this number is, the cat ID, that's going to be over here on the products page, or the products table, rather. So real quick, I'm going to go back to my database. And we're going to click Browse under Categories. And here we see Food, Toys, and Toxic Litter. If I go to the Product uh, table, you're going to see uh, Meow Mix, Cat ID 1, Purina, Cat ID 1, each sandler cat ID 3. So this is how the two tables are connected. I hold the value of the primary key of the category table inside this section. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is go back into my htdocs folder, which is here. I'm going to make my connect script work. So as you recall, our DB name was WebD173. Well, I know that our database will end up doing this right here and I'll click on 173 but I also know it's MAMP so the password should be root okay so now I can actually go into my browser type in localhost just like this and take a look at my options so this is simple cart and I can click on food and there's category PHP and question mark CA equals one so if I go back and I click on toys, you see how it's CA equals two, and this is the feather thingy, and this is the product. So take a close look at how we're doing this. These are the products. This is the index page. Toxic litter, that's a category. Now I have beach sand litter, and I have the product itself. So let's take a look at the, the code itself. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag simple code cart right into Sublime, and then we're going to open it from the home page. Okay, so this is simple cart. On the top line, we're including connect.php. That's the connection to the database. Now, inside here, I have a template from the original brackets page, actually. And what I'm using right now is PDL. And I'm saying prepare, select all from categories. So when we select all from categories, this is going to be my category right inside here, the browse, the categories table. So if we say select all from categories, we have food, toys, and toxic litter, along with their IDs. So this while wow loop is saying as long as we can assign a row to the SQL fetch method, 
remember SQL holds the, the query here. As long as we can have a row that equals that, we can have an ID that equals the row cat ID and a variable called cat name that equals row cat name. Again, this will require that you understand a little bit of PHP in order to understand what's going on. So now we echo a div class categories and we have category, but look at the query string here. Cat ID equals one. And this is what the UC, which is the cat name. So let's take another look at this. We're going to go back to, um, to our category page. Right now we're on product PHP. But what I want to do is show these. Okay, so if I look inside here, this is that section, and you see CA equals one. Well, if we click on, um, let me go back to here's category P CA equals one. Well, let's look at uh, category.php, which is the index. There's the index, right? If I do CA equals one, take a look at this. If I change it to two, watch what happens. The feather thing it comes up. If I change it to three, Beach Sand Litter. So our homepage is doing nothing more than showing a link that people can do to select, the, can click on the select a category. Once I do that, we go to category.php. And inside here, I'm using the get method. This is the biggest part of this entire demonstration. CA is the CA in the query string right here. If it's three, two, or one, that would dictate what content is on this page. That's how all e-commerce sites work. And we use the get method because it caches. So if we look up here and we just hit the question mark, watch what happens. I get all the cache values of things that have been searched before. So imagine if you were shopping for something, you forgot about it, and you wanted to go back and find what you were looking for. You could use the this method. It's called the get method, and it's very helpful. So here we go. Select all from the products table where the category ID equals the CA. That is one, two, or three in this case. And that is our borrowed key inside the products table. That's why we hold the category ID inside the products table. So if I go back to the database once again and do a, re a repeat demonstration, you will see that the products table has one. This is all food. Food is one. Two is the toy. And three is the litter. Okay. So basically, we're just passing query strings here. Here's the category. And inside this, I can pass the product ID. So let's take a look at the product ID now. So I'm in product.php, and I turned my error off my error reporting here, but here's get product ID. So select all from products, where product ID equals product ID. We execute the query and do our loop by grabbing the variable from each and every field name. Now notice these are the exact field names inside the database. And then I'm just echoing out the information. So from here, we could integrate this with PayPal. And all of you could use this cart, literally, if you understand this, the lowest level of PHP. As long as you know this is a loop and showing the specific product, we're good. Watch what happens when I hit product ID equals two. Purina, okay, good. What about three? Isn't this the feather thingy? Yep, the toy. The last is the four. That's the, the beach, uh, the sand litter. So the query string dictates everything. And from here, you know, I've got the price. I can actually just populate my PayPal forms with what you see here. It's $9.99, I know the product name. We could take the PayPal form that we did in the first week of this course and actually have a checkout. And you would have satisfied your, your requirement for this course. It's that easy, but the thing is you have to understand that how to integrate this into your HTML. And that takes a little practice. But for uh, an online course for e-commerce, I think OpenCart will get the better of the portfolio pieces. And I hope you get, folks understand that. Anyway, this is a, a, a nice look at a low-level shopping cart that actually would work for anybody who wants it.